As of Sunday, the massive fire has burned more than 173,000 acres and destroyed more than 500 structures in Santa Barbara and Ventura counties since sparking last Monday. At just 15% containment, it continues to threaten more than 15,000 structures. The blaze grew nearly 20,000 acres overnight, forcing new evacuations for parts of Montecito and Carpinteria. It also impacted power lines, leaving at least 85,000 Santa Barbara residents without power on Sunday. So far, officials have confirmed one death associated with the fire. The National Weather Service warned Sunday of poor air quality in the region and encouraged people to stay inside and avoid strenuous activity if possible. It's possible the Thomas Fire will move up in the rankings in the coming days, the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection, also known as CAL FIRE said Sunday. On CAL FIRE's list of the state's 20 largest fires, which uses records dating back to 1932, the Thomas Fire is the only blaze to occur in December, with nearly every other record fire burning during the hot, summer months. But with years of record high temperatures and devastating drought leaving the state's forests tinder dry, fires have become a threat all year long. It's December, and it's amazing to be able to say we aren't out of fire season, Cal Fire Director Ken Pimlet said at a new conference on Saturday. And this is the challenge that we face in California and certainly here in Southern California, that it is a year-round challenge that we are all in. That's the new reality for California, Governor Jerry Brown also said Saturday, calling the state a very wonderful place, but a place that